Objection! Tail Fox defeated the evil Tenmataro and sealed the fallen demon away. To this day, it is said that he slumbers even still within the Forbidden Chamber. Night, night, Alderman! Sweet dreams! At long last, the revival of Ten Mataro is at hand. Hmm, guess I'm a little early. Apollo? Getting an early start today? Yeah, this is the first job I've had in a while after all. Well, aren't we all fired up? Well, it's not every day I get a call from Mr. Wright. What kind of work is it anyways? Mr. Wright didn't mention any details. Work? Is that how he put it? Don't tell me he just wants me to clean the toilet again. You've really become a fixture around here, Apollo. Come to think of it, it's been almost a year since I was hired. A lot's happened since then. But I've settled in nicely, despite a few bumps in the road. My name is Apollo Justice. I've been practicing law for about a year, but I still have a lot to learn. This is the Right Anything Agency, and it's where I work. Don't let the name fool you. It's definitely a law agency. But don't forget that this place is a town agency too, Polly. Uh, it's the law agency part of this office that's usually forgotten. This is Trucy Wright, a budding magician. And adopted daughter of the agency's owner, Phoenix Wright. She sometimes makes me help with her magic tricks. And what's wrong with that? You're one of the agency's talents as well! I was under the impression that I was a lawyer. Oh, we better hurry! Doesn't look like Daddy's going to make it, so let's get going! Huh? Where are we going? What about the job he mentioned? This is the job, Polly! You're supposed to keep me company today! Another day of not being a lawyer. Should have seen this coming. Well, this is the right anything agency, you know. And there's no law-related work at the moment, so... Tell me again why I chose to work here. Where is Mr. Wright, anyway? Daddy said something about going to meet an acquaintance. But don't worry. Just focus on your job, and I'll tell you exactly what you need to know. Well, let's go! We don't have all day! Wait a second! Uh, and another day of anything goes begins at the Right Anything Agency. What are we doing way up here in the mountains? This is Nine Tails Vale. Everyone's been talking about the yokai craze here. Yokai? Oh, you mean Japanese monsters. Guess that explains all these weird things. Speaking of which, wasn't Nine Tails Vale founded by Japanese immigrants? Yeah, 
They're holding a festival to boost tourism over at the Alderman's Manor. My friend who works there invited us. That's why we're here. In other words, I'm your chaperone because your dad was too busy. Daddy said that with those horns of yours, you'd make a great addition to their festival. I mean, you look like a Japanese demon. Wasn't that so thoughtful of him, Polly? I could do without thoughtfulness like that. Oh, it's almost time. Come on, Polly. The festival grounds are this way. All right, guess it's time to move to the QB Manor's garden. You can tell that's important because Move's written in orange. Wow, this place is really something. It definitely feels like a different world here. Trucy. Jinxie! And this is... My friend, Jinxie Tenma. She's the one who invited us. She just happens to be the maid here. Two horns. A love of red. Are you a demon? No. <laughs> I'm Apollo Justice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he is a demon! What the... Polly, they'll send some of that space on your forehead. Uh, what is this thing? It's a warning charm. Jinxie puts them on all the monsters she finds. Um, but I'm not a monster? Maybe I should have told her you're a good demon. Or you could just say I'm human, Trucy, you frickin' genius. <laughs> oh, red demon. The Missouri of the Underworld. I got up early to do my hair for this. Um, can I take this off now? So you can eat me? I'm not going to eat you! <laughs> Forgive me, a oh, terrible one! Tone down your cords of steel, Apollo! You're scaring her out of her wits! Um... Don't worry, I'm already full. Please stay that way. Great! Now I'm playing along too. Alright guys, we're quite in the midst of case two now, so we're going to be seeing these sidebars a lot throughout these, this investigation here. And they're brand new, of course, I made them up myself. Um, and um, obviously what we have to do here is just talk to Jinxie and get some information about the scene. Um, so, I wanted to ask you about Ninetales Vale. Looks like you've been demonized, Polly. Literally. I'm starting to wonder if I really am a demon myself. Um... <laughs> Please don't eat me. I have food if you're hungry. <sighs> this isn't working. We won't get anything out of her until we set the record straight. Hmm... If only we had some way to prove you're not as scary as you look. Ouch! Unnecessary roughness! It looks like I have to present some proof. Proof that I'm 100% human! I think you know what that means. It's time to play a little... It's time to play a little Twitch Plays Phoenix right here and present our attorney's badge. Yeah! Praise Helix! Um, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> what is it? It's my attorney's badge. You see? I'm not a demon, I'm a lawyer. Really? You're a lawyer? <sighs> Maybe now she'll stop calling me a demon. Does it protect you from Emma Daiho's judgment? 
Who's in Medio? I read somewhere that he's the demon lord who punishes the dead for their sins. Uh-oh! I think now she thinks you're a demon lawyer from hell, Polly! Can I go back to being just a normal demon? Please. Please don't boil me in a scalding cauldron. I'd prefer a Turkish bath if possible. A Turkish bath? Isn't that more sauna than bath? Don't worry, Jinxie. He's a good demon. He'll save you if you ever go astray. <laughs> Please, Mr. Demon Lawyer, sir. Have mercy on my soul. Ah, I told you, I'm not a demon. And Trucy, you're just making things work. <laughs> um, you just leave that Enmedio to me. Isn't that great, Jinxie? Uh -huh. I'm no longer scared to cross into the afterlife. Will someone tell these two I'm human already? is the epicenter of the monster craze. Uh-huh. Barely anyone had ever heard of it before, but now it's packed with Taurus. Really? So the monster craze is the reason behind today's festival? It was the Alderman's idea. One that I'd be careful if I were you. There are lots and lots of yokai prowling about Ninetales Vale. Prowling about? You mean, like, wild animals or something? Uh-huh. And they're hungry, too. Man-eating monsters! And they're all over the place? Uh-huh. In fact, I was one at the manor yesterday. I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the door, nobody was there. It was the ding-dong demon. How else could you explain it? Well, when I was a kid, my friends used to play this prank called Ding Dong Ditch. Well, that doesn't prove you okay aren't real. There's even one here at the manor. The demon Tenma Taro. He's imprisoned in the Forbidden Chamber. Tenma Taro? The Forbidden Chamber? Um, about that yokai you said was imprisoned here at the manor. Is it true? Uh-huh. He's a super-duper evil demon named Tenma Taro. Here, take a look at the scroll. Tenma Taro is the dark demon you see here. He's super evil and super scary. So, that's the yokai imprisoned in the Forbidden Chamber. Uh-huh. He was defeated by the village guardian yokai, the nine-tailed fox, and locked away forever. So you're saying Ten Mataro is still trapped inside the Forbidden Chamber? Uh huh. But he's just biding his time until he can escape. Still, we should be perfectly safe. Because. There's a really powerful ceiling charm on the door, keeping it shut tight. What a charming security system. You can keep the scroll if you want. The Alderman gave me this, but just holding it gives me the chills, so... Uh, uh thanks, Jinxie. Maybe I'll give this to Mr. Wright. So, I was wondering... Are those things on your forehead also warding charms, Jinxie? Yes. They're to prevent evil things from getting inside me. Papa told me to wear them. Evil things? Apollo, don't you dare take those charms off her forehead! They have to stay there! Forever! Got it? I wonder what would happen if I did take them off. It's time for me to get back to work. Thanks for 
for inviting us, Jinxie. You're welcome. Oh, and before I forget... There's going to be a surprise event today. Even I don't know what to expect, but it's sure to be fun. Better not be a yokai parade. She'd probably drop dead from fright. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> ah! D -d 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 Demon! Oh, wait. It's just someone in a suit. R right? Tenmataro? The demon from the Forbidden Chamber? Sure gives up quick. Huh? Why is everyone hiding their faces? Uh, hey! You there! You mustn't stare at Tempataro like that! Oh, lower your eyes! You'll steal your soul if you're not careful. Huh? Steal my soul? Seriously? Your devilry stops here and now, Tenmataro. Now what? Look, Apollo! There's somebody on the roof! <laughs> that booming laugh! Could it be? My nine golden tails are proof of my unassailable righteousness. With my band of 100 minions, I vanquish evil from the land. I am the wrestler of righteousness. Yaha! The Golden Lord of Yokai, the Amazing Nine Tails, is here! Fear not, good little boys and girls, for I shall defeat Tenmataro! <laughs> hooray, hooray! It's the Amazing Nine Tails! Up to your no good tricks again, eh, Tenmataro? Well, not on my watch! <laughs> There's nothing to fear now, my child. I have banished Tenmataro. You and your people can now live in peace. Thank you, Mr. Amazing Ninetales, sir. Now, I must be off. Another match, and another foe to vanquish. Oh, wait, wait. What, uh, what was that all about? Did that wrestler just chase off a yokai? Looked like he came out of the Alderman's Manor. That was the amazing Ninetales! He's a pro wrestler from right here in Ninetales Vale! And no one knows his true identity! Jinxie sure seems chipper all of a sudden. What was all that about him banishing Tenmataro? That was a yokai exorcism. It's an annual ritual where Ten Matara was released to remind us of his wickedness. In the end, the nine-tailed fox drives Ten Matara out and purifies our village. But the amazing nine tails did the honors this year. So that was the big surprise, huh? The amazing nine tails and Ten Matara, huh? Well, whatever floats her boat. Oh. Would you look at the time? I'd better get back to work. Please excuse me. She's a strange one, all right. I think she's sweet in her own special way. Knowing Trucy, she probably has lots of friends who are sweet in their own way. Well, we still have some time to kill. Might as well see the rest of Nine Tails Vale while we're here. The fun never stops, does it? I think I bought a new 
nearly every yokai souvenir that was on sale. I know, because my wallet's running on empty. Hmm? What's with all the commotion over there? Huh? Hey! Isn't that your friend, Jinxie? I hope everything's okay. Well, I go have a look. Please, wait. Huh? Ah. It's a Tenmataro warning charm. This should protect you. Oh, please, be careful. The Elderman's in the Fox Chamber, at the top of the main staircase. Okay, got it. Police arrived soon after that, at which point I returned to the festival grounds. Apparently, the man impaled by the spear was already dead. But there was one other person there, and he was immediately rushed to the hospital. Oh, thank goodness the other man's going to be fine. Looks like he'd only been unconscious. You think Jinxie's going to be okay? I'm sure she'll be back to her old self in no time. At least she's calm enough for the police to question her for now. And I'd sure love to know what crazy animal left those feathers and tracks. Oh, look! Here comes Jinxie! Hi, Trucy. Hi, Mr. Demon Lawyer. Hey, uh, you feeling any better? I was wondering if you're up to filling us in on what happened. So the man with the spear in his chest was already dead. Uh-huh. He was Alderman QB. When I found him, he was already... So, the victim was the village alderman. And the one who was found alive. Who was he? Damien Tenma. He's the mayor of the neighboring city, Tenma Town. They arrested him. <laughs> so, he's the killer. Ah! Papa didn't kill anyone! Papa? As in your father? That's right. Jinxie's dad is mayor of Tenma Town. No way! Uh, yes, way. But he's innocent. This just got way more complicated. The victim was the alderman of Nine Tails Vale. And Jinxie's father, the mayor of Tenma Town, was arrested for the crime. Would you mind telling me a little more about the victim? So the victim was the village alderman. What can you tell me about him? His name is Rex Cutie. They say his family has ties to the legendary nine-tailed fox. He was really kind, and he always looked out for me. He was a former pro wrestler, and I even heard he knew the amazing nine tails. A 
former pro wrestler, huh? Hmm. That's something to keep in mind. With your father being mayor and all, I guess you're originally from Tenma Town, huh? So then, why did you come work here? It was to overcome your fears, right, Jinxie? Uh-huh. Plus, Mama was from Ninetales Vale, though she's no longer with us. She loved these flowers. I always wanted to live where Ninetales flowers grew. Wow, what a beautiful flower! And with exactly nine petals, too! Just looking at them gives me courage, even when I'm scared of yokai. Jinxie, when you first told us what happened, you said the killer was a demon. Uh-huh. The warding charm on the Forbidden Chamber's door. It's been... removed. The Forbidden Chamber's door? That big door that was barred shut? There wasn't a charm on it when I checked it out, so I guess it was removed by someone. Tenmataru escaped! Oh. Oh. When, when I try and remember what happened, it all goes fuzzy. Jinxie, you should go get some rest. You've been through a lot today. Between the warding charm being removed and the black feathers and weird tracks, I could see how a superstitious person might think a demon was the killer. Apollo, maybe this is your chance! Chance for what? To do the right thing and defend Jinxie's dad in court! Who, me? Uh, wouldn't a man like Mayor Tenma have access to more experienced lawyers? Um, you want to know what the detective said? They doubt if there was a lawyer who could get a not guilty verdict in this one. Sounds like they're expecting an open and shut case. Don't worry, Jinxie. If anyone can prove your dad's innocence, it's Polly. What? You'll accept the case, won't you, Polly? Oh, it's all over, isn't it? Oh, I'll be all alone. The rest of my life. Oh, right. Jinxie already lost her mother. All right. Jinxie, leave your father's defense to me! Attaboy, Polly! You're going to help Papa, Mr. Demon Lawyer? Yep, because that's what lawyers do. Plus, no toilet cleaning for a while. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure your father walks away a free man! Thank you, Mr. Demon Lawyer. I can tell you're one of the good ones. Red demons are usually so mean. It's been a while, but I'll be fine. Ready or not, here comes justice! <laughs> 